three-digit subtraction. We're just going to do it with three-digit subtraction also, okay? So in the last chapter. So here's our, our common course strand for our most groovy teachers. And our question is, when do we regroup the tens and subtraction? And don't forget, right here, if you go and type in that website right there, that'll take you to all your lessons, uh, well, your math lessons, all the way through high school. Okay, so third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, that's all waiting there for you, okay? All right, here we go. So let's draw a quick picture to model the problem. Okay, I love cookies. So 473 students went to the cookie event. 146 people were still there when the event was over. That would have been me. So how many people left before the event was over? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to subtract these numbers. If we have 473 people there and then 146 were still there when it was over, then who left? So we're going to subtract, okay? So we're going to subtract uh, 473 minus 146. Now up here it says to draw a quick picture. So let's go ahead and draw. Here's 473. Remember, those are the hundreds. So there's 100. 200, 300, 400, and then for the tens, we're going to do seven tens, okay? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Remember, we do that. 60, 70. Now, your teacher might not do that, and that's okay. You can just draw another straight line up and down for, the, for um, this guy right here. So, for this guy, if you don't want to do that, it's just easier later when you start counting. If you have them in groups of fives, you can count your fives easier. So anyway, so here's five, six, seven, and then we still have to do three ones. So here we go. One, two, three. Okay. And then we're going to subtract 146. So there's 100, and then there's 10, 20, 30, 40, and then six ones. One, two, three, Four, five. We usually stack them in stacks of five, and then uh, six right there. It's just easier to count by five, so to organize them by stacks of five. Okay, so we're going to subtract. So let's subtract three ones minus six ones. Well, I can't take away six ones from only three ones, so what would I have to do is regroup one of these tens. I'll regroup this one and make ten more ones over here. So here we go. So it's going to make one less ten when we take away this ten, but we're going to add those with ten ones right there because this is one ten. And that equals 10 ones right there. So we'll take this away, and then we can subtract. Um, now we have 13 ones, okay, over here. When we do this over here, we borrowed from the seven tens and made it a six tens. Here they are, six tens right here. And then we changed this three to 13 right there. So this, uh, this, this three right here became 13 right there, okay? All right, so now we can subtract the 13 ones minus um, the 13 ones minus the six ones. Okay, so what I'm going to do is cancel out um, a whole stack here and this whole stack here, and then I'll take out this one with we'll say this one right here. So we'll just take away uh, uh, six from the top and bottom right there. And so when we do that, what happens is is I'm going to make these disappear. This disappears. And then this disappears, and you probably can't see my little cursor, but that guy disappears. So now we have, how many ones do we have left? We have, we have this stack of five and six and seven. So there's seven left right here. So 13 minus six is seven. Now we can go ahead and subtract the tens digits. So six tens minus four tens, and we don't have to borrow from that. So six tens minus four tens, what I'm gonna do here is is take these guys out right here, these four tens, and take four of these tens out. Now I'll take the slanty guy out. So we'll do one, two, three, and we'll do the slanty as four right there. So we'll take those guys out, and we're left with just those two blue tens left. I'll take them out right here. So those are gone. Let's see if I can take these guys out. Uh, here we go. Those are gone. So we're left with those two right there. We just took out uh, four tens out of each uh, group right there. All right. And then we're left with subtracting the hundreds. So now we can go four minus one, four hundreds minus one hundred. And we'll just take off these guys right here, take off the hundreds right there. And then so when we do that, we're left with three hundreds. So uh, we're going to take off uh, this guy and this guy right here. So when I do that, um, they're gone. So 
that's out of here um, I want to make sure well, I'm going to take my pencil out of there that's all right and then that's out of here also so we're left with uh, the 300 so our answer right there is 327 so 473 minus 146 is 327 right here so there's 327 people um, that were left at the event okay so that left the event okay uh, 47 cookies 146 or so this is a little bit off wording right here there's 327 people who left the event how's that who left the event all right so describe what to do when there wasn't enough ones to subtract from well we borrow from one of the tens and remember 110 equals 10 ones so that's how we do that when we're subtracting if we don't have enough we borrow from the tens column so let's do that here so 354 minus 137 now I'm just going to represent 354 over here and then we're going to just take away 127 okay or 137 sorry so here's three we'll do uh, three squares right here we'll do five sticks right here and then four ones here we go here's one two three there's 300 and then 10 20 30 40 now typically I, I usually do a slanty for my fifth one right there but since I'm gonna have to borrow I just I made it another straight line going straight down there's five straight lines and then one two three four okay so are there enough ones to subtract uh, seven ones so I can't take away seven from the four so the answer is no there's not so what we're going to do is um, uh, we're going to borrow from the tens. So we're going to take uh, uh, one ten away from these five tens and change that to a four. And then what happens is, is it's going to add ten to this four right here and make it a fourteen. So we'll put in ten ones over here and we'll take off this guy right here. Okay. So here we go. We're going to regroup the one tens as ten ones. So there it is right there okay and then uh, now I can take this away because now there's um, I can take this uh, one tens columns away because we represented that as ten ones over here so we can subtract okay and there we're only left with these four tens so there's that's where the four is right there and we're gonna do um, now we can subtract we can take off uh, seven out of these guys right there okay so that's what this says now so now we subtract uh, there's enough ones so we can do 14 minus 7 and just take off 7 of these guys over here. Notice this one, this 10s is gone right here. There's only 4 because we replaced it with the, with the 10 ones right there. So when we do that, we take off 7 of them. And I chose those 7 right there, those red ones right there. So we're left with, um, uh, we're left with these 5 plus these 2. So there's 7 left. All right, let me slide that up just a little bit right there so we can go ahead and do our, our next part. Now we can go to the, the tens column and subtract the tens. Four tens minus three tens, okay? So four tens minus three tens. Let me just, uh, I'm just going to slide this part up because some of you guys can't see this down here on the, on the video. So let me just slide that up right there, okay? So four tens minus three tens. What I'm going to do is take off three out of here so when I take three of those tens out of there I'm left with one ten right there so four minus three gives us one ten okay so now we can subtract the hundreds notice the tens are no longer there so we took them away so we have three of these hundreds and we're gonna take away one of them so we'll let's just take away that uh, bottom one right there so we're left with these two hundreds right there so the answer for 354 right here 354 minus 137 is going to be 217 right there okay all right let's do one more of these problems I'm only going to do one because um, I, this lesson is a big lesson for me I don't know why there's a lot of pages on it and um, sometimes it just kind of overloads and freezes my computer so I'm going to stop after this one but they're all the same you guys okay alright so here let's go ahead and subtract so we're going to take six ones away from one one well we can't so we're going to borrow from this three and make it a two and then we're good what that does is we're going to add ten to this one 
So that's going to change this 1 to an 11 right there. So um, we can't subtract 6 1s from, from uh, the 1 1, so we're going to regroup the 1 10. Okay, so now what that just means is we're going to take 1 10 away from the 3 10s, and it becomes 2 10s, and we just add 10 to this 1 right here. 10 plus 1 is 11, so now we have 11 1s. Now we can subtract 11 minus 6. 11 minus 6 is going to get us 5 right there. Okay, now we got, we're done with the 1s. Now we can go ahead and go to the tens column. 2 tens minus 2 tens. Well, what's 2 minus 2? Well, that's just 0. So we can go ahead and subtract and we get 0. Now we're done with the tens column. Now we go to the hundreds. 4 minus 3. 4 minus 3 is going to get us uh, 1 right there. So uh, 431 minus 326 is 105. Okay. All right. And just remember, you guys, if there's not enough ones to subtract, then you take off one of those tens and regroup it as 10 ones. And that should give you enough ones. Okay. All right, you guys, take care.